the richest family, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey graduates, it's Mayor Brandon Scott. I want to take a moment to celebrate and congratulate you for the hard work you put in this year. We couldn't be more proud. I know it's been a long road of virtual learning and sacrifices due to COVID-19, but you stayed the course and persevered through it all. I want to leave each of you with a message and I want you to listen well. You are ready to conquer the world. Your family, teachers, mentors have prepared you for this moment and it is your moment. Celebrate yourselves. Thank your support systems and begin to gear up for the next phase of your lives. Each of you have the brightest of a future ahead of you and I wish you the very best. I'm always here for you and look forward to seeing what greatness is to come from you. Good evening. My name is Kamala Carnes. I am the proud principal of Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts. What an awesome day today is. First of all, allow me to recognize our board commissioner, Dr. Linia Chinya, Jackie Hayden, our instructional 
Leadership Executive Director for CLN 10, our school faculty, parents, family members, friends, and most important, our class of 2021 graduates. As I stand here this evening, I realize I've only played a small part in your journey to completing your high school career. However, I couldn't be more honored and grateful. Words can't begin to express how proud I am of you and your accomplishments. Just 12 short months ago, myself and every other principal in Baltimore City were forced to learn virtually. Being here today and having the honor to grant you either your high school diploma or your certificate of completion in person is something to be proud of. Yes, we've come a mighty long way. I want to say to the class of 2021 that you have done what no other class has done. You have changed the way learning took place. You have proven that you are able to get through any obstacle that comes your way. You are strong, resilient, and capable of conquering the next chapter of your life. As Michelle Obama said once, you should never view your challenge as a disadvantage. Instead, it is important for you to understand that your experience facing and overcoming adversity is actually one of your biggest advantages. You did whatever it took to get here. You truly have made the impossible possible. You have always taught, we have always taught you that through hard work and productive struggle, you can accomplish anything. Today in the midst of a pandemic, at the conclusion of virtual learning, on your graduation day, you have shown that the things that you have needed most over this trying times, you have had it within you all along. I want to take a minute and acknowledge the people who have motivated you, pushed you to excel, the ones who supported or encouraged you along the way. I want to take a minute and say thank you to your parents, your teachers, or any other school staff that supported you daily. It takes a village, and you should be commended for your unwavering support of, your, of our scholars. Thank you. As we prepare to send you to your next journey, remember the importance, both graduates and families, of advocacy. Congratulations to those who have already landed employment or will continue on to a post-secondary institution. Continue to do your best. The sky is the limit. There will be some days that you will want to give up. However, I encourage you to look at your diploma and remember how far you have come and let that motivate you to do your very best and keep going. I would like to take a moment and ask the staff from Augusta Fells to please stand. I want to thank each and every one of you for all that you have done and will continue to do for the students of Augusta Fell Savage. Thank you very much. In closing, graduates, I want you to continue to be great. We love you and will always be there for you at Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts. We'll always be open for you and any of the needs that you may have coming forward. Congratulations. Class of 2021, you did it. Good evening, family, friends, and fellow graduates. We did it. <laughs> we did it, period. It is a pleasure to address you as the salutatorian for the graduating class of 2021. I am so thankful for you. When I was notified of this honor, I became anxious and not sure if I was able to do it. My mom always told me, you have to try new things in life in order to get better outcomes. With that being said, 
I began wondering what I could say to encourage you all about the journey ahead. The journey will not be easy, but we must make the best of it. Now I would like to ask class of 2021, what are you looking forward to? What continues to push you towards a brightly shining future? Throughout my matriculation, I used my ambition and desire to succeed to create a path for college. My career to live a comfortable life and care for my loved ones. I know that during this journey, we all had the same goals in mind. As a class, we have completed a journey that everyone dreams of and that is graduated from high school. On this path, we encountered hindrances such as losing family members and classmates. Watching our country navigate through a pandemic and overcoming the injustices that continue to pledge our communities. With determination and grace, we stayed on track. However, this could not have been done without the help of our loving families, friends, and the extraordinary staff of the Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts. Today sets the tone for the rest of our lives. Though life can be unpredictable, do not let it defeat you. As you leave this ceremony today, remember regardless of what happens, I want to say that I believe in you. You have overcome so much to get to graduation day. So when times get tough, remind yourself that you are tough. And again, congratulations, fellow graduates. Good evening, esteemed guests, family, staff, and students. Standing here before you today as a valedictorian of the graduating class of 2021, it is an honor and a privilege as I stand here before you today. I felt overwhelmed, but my dad once said, fear will encounter you, so face to overcome. So today I am not afraid that we are leaving high school, but I am hopeful. We just achieved the first of many milestones that we have conquered to become a cooperating members of society. As we remark of these milestones, I just want us to reflect on where we have been and where we are going. Let's leave high school be behind with gratitude. You are here today because of achievements, determination, and greatness we have accomplished in our four years of high school. From our first day of high school to virtual learning, we have experienced so much, but we remain thankful. Thank you to the senior class advisors, administrators, but most of all, each other. <laughs> we spent so much making sure our safety was so secure during this pandemic. All celebrated experiences were nothing short of perfection for us. To our teachers, thank you for a large part of our enormous hearts of Augusta Fells, who treated all of us as if we were their own families. Teachers who even thought they will miss us are glad to see us all off towards our bright futures. But even though we are making, we are shaking with excitement of officially graduating, I'm just really happy for everyone. We will miss all Augusta Fells the lesson we have learned, the connections we have made, and the gratitude we have for this place will forever be in our hearts. I know we cannot go back and change our senior year, but look at the bright side. We are experiencing the first in-person graduation since this pandemic began. Let us, begin, let us also be grateful for the academic regeneries, the lasting friendships we have made at Augusta Fellows. They have helped us with our shaped up characters. Each of us have so much special times that has happened here at Augusta Fells that made us smile, laugh, cry, or even cringe. <laughs> but nevertheless, you see it as the one of the best moments of your life. My Angelou once said, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but the moments that takes our breaths away. We did our best, even though with the mishaps, but still work around them to make it a positive experience. From this day forward, these diplomas will open up doors of opportunity and make adulthood a little easier. Regardless of the journey you choose, whether it be college, workforce, or military, 
I am so proud of you of class of 2021. Because of your actions, the world is a better place. Because of your dedication, Baltimore is a better place. And because of your commitment, the Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts is a better place. We would like to recognize three scholars for their outstanding community service efforts. Each of you has developed your own idea of a better world and has served as volunteers, community activists, and community organizers for no monetary award. You have selflessly given your time, your talents, and stepped up in a time when the world needs us all to step up. Despite your busy schedules, schoolwork, and family obligations, you served. Each of you earning over 150 hours of community service. Today, I would like to honor and recognize Aaron Adams, Anna Bermudez, and Armani Marshall. Thank you all for making a difference in our city and congratulations. The Hero Award was coined by former assistant principal, the late Maggie Marie Stokes. Ms. Stokes believed that regardless of the circumstances, each student possessed enough drive to succeed. The Unsung Hero Award is given to the student who exhibits the ability to keep going when things get tough. This student finishes high school despite hardships that they may encounter. Ms. Stokes would say that the student who is nominated to receive this award uses his or her inner strength to persevere and overcome the obstacles they face in life. The recipient of this year's Maggie Stokes Unsung Hero Award is Jamira Conway. Congratulations, Jamira. You're good to go when you're ready. Here's my countdown, guys. Three, two. Hi, I'm Kai Jackson with Fox 45, and I want to say congratulations to Baltimore City Public Schools Class of 2021. This is a wonderful day for you. Congratulations on graduating and for getting to this point and getting through a year of a pandemic, virtual learning, and just tough school. I know you really worked hard to get here, and I know your families are happy for each and every one of you and extremely proud of you as I am as well. This is a very, very important moment that you're gonna remember for the rest of your life. And I'm expecting, each of us here at Fox 45 is expecting each one of you to do great things in your life. Now to introduce your keynote speaker, he is a man very familiar with the city of Baltimore. He's a native son, a graduate of Johns Hopkins University, a two-time congressman, and also former head of the NAACP for the nation. Would you please welcome Maryland's native son, Maryland Congressman Kwaisi Nfume. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. I'm Congressman Kwaisi Mfume. It's my privilege and honor to join your celebration today as we honor you, the graduates on this unforgettable milestone in your life. It's also an honor to be a part of the network of your family and your friends who are beaming with pride right now because you have made it to this point. Your graduation in many ways is their graduation as well. So let me begin by acknowledging and thanking the teachers in the city public school system whose ongoing devotion to their profession never ceases to amaze me. Your daily dedication has made this day possible for so many of the students and their families, and we say thank you. In addition, I'd like to recognize Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott, Council President Mosby, CEO Dr. Sonia Santelises, and Chairwoman Linda Chinia, as well as the entire Board of School Commissioners, and of course, TV anchor Kai Jackson, for his steadfast professionalism and for his very gracious remarks. Students, in just a few moments, your titles will go from being seniors to being graduates. The theme for your graduation is, quote, virtually possible. And it is clearly a reference to the fact that this graduation and most of your learning for over the last year has been conducted online. You know, it's been more than 100 years since anyone 
has faced the odds that you faced to be able to walk across the stage and to finally get your diploma. We live in a world where governments were shut down, school buildings were unavailable for most of the time, and student activities were put on pause. Jobs were lost by our family members, and even churches, mosques, and synagogues were not open for us to pray in or to worship in. Seniors, none of you asked for this. None of you would have ever expected it to be the case, but it happened. And guess what? The great class of 2021 held together. You won. You are here. You set a goal and you achieved it. And now you're ready to take that next step in life. And we need you now more than ever to grab the opportunities that come before you to make America better than the way you found it. That's why your generation is so important. That's why many of you in this generation are gonna do great things. And that's why no hardship, no hardship can stop you. I didn't have a high school graduation. My mother died in my arms when I was 16 years old and I had to drop out of school two weeks later to take jobs to find a way to put food on the table for my three younger sisters. We were poor, we were homeless for a while, and we had almost given up. And then I learned, like a lot of you, that it's not how you start in life that counts, it's how you finish. I enrolled at a training center, earned an equivalency diploma, then graduated from Baltimore Community College, Morgan State University, and then Johns Hopkins University. I got elected to the city council and then got elected to Congress and became president of the NAACP and was reelected to Congress again last year after the death of my lifelong friend, Elijah Cummings. Now, why am I sharing all of this with you? I'm sharing it because I don't want you to let anything stop you from being the best you can. Seniors, all of you know somebody that was shot and killed in our streets because of gun violence and who are not graduating here with you today. Think of them quietly for a moment right now and know that that could have been you, but that God was on your side. So as you celebrate this happy moment, Promise me, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, that you will be safe, that you will think before you act, and that you will stay away from people and places that are not right and that you know are not right. We all love you and we want you to be the best, but you must love yourself also and know that God wanted to make you so special that he only made one of you. So to the great, great class of 2021, look around you and be happy today. Give your classmates one final smile and for some of them you will never see again and know that this one thing is true, that as long as you live, you will always remember this day, the day that you graduated from high school and became the men and the women of the future. So my best shout out to all of you. Thank you for allowing me to share your special day and congratulations. So this is the best part of tonight, right? We're gonna confer the degrees. We have a graduate walking in, so I just want one minute to get her settled before we confer the degrees, please. Okay, is everyone ready? This is the best part of tonight. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by virtue, virtue of the authority vested in me as the principal, 
of Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements for both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Jackie Hayden, Instructional Leadership Executive Director, who will continue on with the conferring of the degrees. Good afternoon. Seniors, we are so proud of you. You did it. We are so proud of you. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by Principal Carnes and by the authority vested in me as Instructional Leadership Executive Director, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of diplomas and certificates. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Linda Chinia, Chair of the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners. Good afternoon, uh, graduates and family. I, I must say one thing before I do the part you really want to hear, and this is a special message from the school board to all of you because of, of what you have gone through to get to this place as the first in-person graduating class of 2021. So please remember that behind you are all of your memories, before you are all of your dreams, Around you are all who love you, and within you is all that you need. And so now, in recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal, and the acknowledgement of the Instructional Leadership Executive Director, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Chair of the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of high school diplomas and certificates. So now the best part is you can turn those tassels to the other side today. Let's all give them a round of applause. Have a nice along.
We have John Kidwell. We have Aaron Adams. Next, we have Armani Marshall. We have Kaiwan Newton. Next, we have Reno Watts. Next, we have Clayton Tritol. Same situation. Clayton, stop for me right here. Take a picture with me. Look right in here. Good job. Stop right here. Stop right here. Stop right here with me. Come back. Come back. No, oh, you're with him. Yeah. We could have taken a picture, though. We have Dyreek King. And Daquan Wilkes. Anna Bermudez. Anna, stop right here. Take a picture with me. Go to Miss Ritter. Can you get a fist bump and fist like Dr. Kenya? Next, we have Kendra Glenn. Next, we have Destiny Murray. Destiny, stop right here with me. Take a picture, please. Good job, Destiny. Yeah, you go to Dr. Junior? Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations. Brian Patterson. Brian, stop right here with me. Take a picture. Good job. Congratulations. Maurice Woodard. Maurice, stop right here with me. Take a picture. Go to Dr. Kenya. Christian Nesmith. Christian, stop right here with me. Let's take a picture. Look at the camera. See the camera right there? Perfect. Michael Smooth. We have Daquan Smith. Zion Redman. Kayla Coleman. Thank you. 
Jamira Conway. We have Jabria Jones. And Miss Kayla Gladney. Already, you can move your tassel from the right, from the right to the left. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Ain't nobody perfect 